Welcome back to Chilling in the Lounge with your boy Perry. And I just want to start by saying Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Happy New Year in advance to everyone. Um, you know, we all want to get started off on a good foot. So this year we wanted to start off by doing real situation, real life situation videos, things that we can relate to. And I want to thank everybody who supported me in the past doing music that was fine but we want to try to step it up a little bit so we want to try to start by focusing on real life situations things that can affect us things that can help us you know solutions finding ways to deal with problems in a better way you know this life is kind of crazy you know things happen but you know all the decisions we make we want to make sure we make the best decisions and the best choices but uh, we want to go ahead and uh, start. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we want to go get, get started with this video. Tell me what you think. You know, I appreciate all, anything you have to say. And, uh, you know, you're my family. And I couldn't do it without you. And I'm not going to ever try to do it without you. So let's go ahead and watch this video. Tell me what you think. guy hit on me right so um he came up to me he was like hey what's up you married i was like yes and he said you happy he said it like that like he was like a drop the mic he was like you happy and i was like no and i was not happy at the time but what does me being unhappy have to do with whether or not you have a shot the goal in marriage is not happiness see she gets it you know that's one thing i can say she understands the situation she's in, you know, women go out, they meet, you know, guys try to talk to them all the time. And a lot of women, they're, they're just like oblivious to this. They don't, you know, I guess they're just open. I think that has a lot to do with your morals and values. If you have a man, then you should respect that man. I feel the best option is to ignore that guy. You know what I'm saying? Because once you open your mouth and respond to them, it's not necessarily being rude if you stay quiet, but if you open your mouth and say something, that means they're getting you to talk. They're getting you to, to communicate with them, and that's what they want. And I don't think a lot of women understand that, you know what I'm saying? So um, in this case, she understands. She knows what's happening here. And um, basically, he's trying to you know find a way in, find a way to find some type of vulnerability where he can you know, you know, somehow ease his way in there to get to her. And uh, she understands that. And that's why even if she told him she's not happy, she's basically like, what's that to you? What does that mean? That's not going to change anything, even if I'm married and I'm not happy, basically. So let's go ahead and continue and see what else she got going on. The goal is to build a lasting relationship that withstands um, the uh, the ebbs and flows of marriage. Some of y'all need to learn how to be unhappily married and still be content and still stay right where you are. Just because I might not be happy right now does not mean I won't get happy later. Yeah, I like this uh, for her, especially because she respects her vows and you can tell, like, she's mature. She understands, like, right now I'm not happy. Maybe, yeah, we're going through something. But that don't mean I'm going to go ahead and go do some stupid, you know, something stupid to mess my situation up, change my whole life. And a lot of people don't think about that. They just go ahead and do things. I've been in a situation, you know, I was married, you know, and my ex now is um she uh allowed someone to use her vulnerability uh, vulnerability against her basically you know what i don't even know because that whole situation was crazy i don't even know how it happened she might have played a big part in it as well as far as you know getting into it um a lot of people don't know this story i kept it quiet i didn't even tell my family and um, the truth is, 
I tried, I tried, you know, but when you don't understand why someone uh, did what they did to you, when they don't give you any explanations, and they just think like you're gonna get past it, it don't work like that. Like, yeah, life goes on, but you can't expect me to heal in a situation like that without any explanation, nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot more to that, but you know, I, you know, I don't even want to talk about that stuff. But here, like I said, she understands. She knows what's going on. This guy's trying to like, yeah, you you can't just not because I'm unhappy. You're gonna just step in and and just be able to you know we weasel your way into my relationship, destroy it, and then what? I have nothing now. Nah. I respect her for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at um what people had to say in the comments about this. All right. Desi6599 said, she's obviously a marathoner, not a sprinter. This gorgeous young lady has the values that our grandparents carried, faithfulness, patience, and determination. These losers in the comments criticizing her are probably on their third marriages. I appreciate this young woman who respects her vows and has the emotional maturity to understand that patience and fidelity are worth more than her temporary feelings. Society has paid a very high price in terms of broken homes and fatherless children because so many people have put their feelings before their morals. Good for you, gorgeous young lady. I mean, <laughs> he's giving a, a lot of compliments. Yes, she's beautiful, but we don't have to focus on that. I like the fact that she is, you know, uh, standing up. Because in this world now, man, women are different. They're different. They're not like what they used to be. You know, there's a lot of cheaters. And, and back, you know, people didn't think women cheated, really. But, man, now you see it more and more. And it's becoming like a trend. Like this is normal. They it's they just do it like like it's nothing and with no feeling, no, no nothing at all. They just continue. I just you just hear more stories after stories, and I think that's sad. Like you know, what's this world coming to? I sure as hell would not want to be out there trying to date anymore. Thank God I'm married. All right, let's check out the next comments. And it says, J. Doe 37362. Yeah, but you still told another man who was a complete stranger that you were unhappily married, kind of effed up. I mean, I get that. You know, she didn't have to say anything, but maybe she felt like she needed to stand up. Maybe, maybe it's a guy's demeanor, probably felt cocky. So she probably felt like, like, uh, nah, guy, it's not going to happen. Like, she felt like she needed to, you know, drop the bomb on him. So he understands that she's faithful, even if she's unhappy. So, uh, two sword, two swords, Drizzy. I don't, I don't know what that is. That's the name. I, I can't help it. <laughs> All right. He says, or he, I don't know. They say. Happiness is absolutely the goal. Why else would you stay with someone if you're unhappy? There will be sad moments for sure, but that doesn't mean that general happiness isn't what you should strive for. I mean, I agree. I mean, that's basically what she said. You got to strive for happiness. I mean, no one wants to stay in a relationship being unhappy, but you should give the relationship a chance. You know what I'm saying? I can't give a time limit on, I mean, you should give the relationship a time, some, a chance, because you never know what's going to happen. You know, you might, I don't know. You don't just leave a relationship just because you're unhappy. Things change. If you re remember that uh, comment uh, Michelle Obama said, she'd been with Obama for how many years? And for 10 of those years, she was unhappy and she stuck it through. And I, I basically heard the moral of her story was that at that time she wasn't happy, 
but she was able to be happy again with her husband. So sometimes on being unhappy is temporary. It's not, you know, a, a, a long-term thing. You know what I'm saying? Things change all the time. So guys, I want to thank you for this video, um, for your support. And um, I think this is something that we all should think about, especially, you know, the females who give access to men. Um, if you're married, I suggest that you stay uh, married, you know, your vows. That's important. Uh, th always think about the person you're with and think about how you would want to be treated, not, you know, not how you feel in the moment at the time where your emotions are high you know, you're feeling all kinds of feelings and you don't know what to do. Like, just think about the person and if they were to do it to you, how would you feel in the end? And, um, and I think that would give you a clear picture of what you should do. As they say, do unto others as you would like others to do unto you. And that's basically what it should be. So I want to thank you guys. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Even if you don't like it, go ahead and hit the like button. Comment, subscribe, make sure you don't forget. And I want to thank you guys, you know, again, like I said, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays and have a Happy uh, New Year in advance. So until next time, we out.